And Oakley have picked up where they left off in 2022. Lopez trying to direct traffic. One imagines this is only going one way. And it bounds the net. The opening goal of the season belongs to Moreland City and it belongs to James Hooper. Something's going to have to watch out for, potentially, someone in South Melbourne. Want to exploit. Webb trying to collect the ball, knock it forward. The Welshman's through again. The Welshman this time will not be denied. And Alun Webb has South Melbourne's first goal of this season. Ball in, Langlar. 2-1, South Melbourne, Pat Langlar. He has his first of the season. Wide left. Looking for the overlap run of Fleming. Fleming to dig one into the back post. Oh, now they got their wires crossed. Now there's a shout for handball in the box. It's not given. And the ball is bundled into the net. And Nelson Salvatore has put North Geelong in front. In the closing moments of what has been a wonderful first half for them. Up and into the near post this time, and it's scrambled home by Profiler, who scores on debut for the Warriors. And how about this? Look there from Derek to get it back to Avendawa. Line turns have been on point tonight, Avendawa. Mario Garcia! Oh my! That is just what the Greens needed! From the Lambton Jaffers in the northern New South Wales Premier League. Mikulic picks it up here for North Geelong. Lofting it in. Oh, it's there for Yerkovic. It's Gardner, in fact, who has bundled at home. And North Geelong, would you believe, have a third. In fact, one of them has, has just been discarded by team manager Ruben Todorovsky. Defending for Gully to do now. It's a nicely shaped free kick. And Oakley have picked up where they left off in 2022. The cannon's the opener. Give them breathing space. It's another good delivery. Salmon the target this time. And you just knew it was going to happen. Alex Salmon strikes against his former side. And that mountain just got a lot more difficult for Gully, although an instant response wouldn't hurt. Hope. Kadakpo. On he drives. Kadakpo squaring up and Jago's there. Gully is straight back in. Games at A-League men's level for the Brisbane Raw. Guest is up and back to deliver and Clark flicks on. And that might just be the three-point seal for Oakley. Sells over the head of Jamie Wilson. It's over, is reclaiming it. Ball's come out dangerously here. And the visitors have scored. Just as they did on four occasions here 12 months ago. Found plenty of headway on that right flank so far. Edwards with the in swing. Oh, it's flicked on. And Port Melbourne take an early lead. I think the final touch may have come off an Avondale head. A captain, of course, of Western United's uh, promote, promoted MPL2 side this year. Katabian. Oh, and it's a great header. And Avondale finally are level, and it's Kalalu Kamara. Not quite his night tonight, Agwek. He's worked hard, fair play to him, but you have to take these chances when they present themselves, especially in a quality game, in a tense game like this. Oh, oh and no. that's an arid back pass. Agwek onto it. He's around with his. The flag's up, in fact. I thought that was a back pass, Katie. We have to look at the replay. Did it come off an Avondale player en route? Well, Manny Agwek thinks he's taking the lead for Avondale. It's a goal. Manny Agwek can celebrate. Avondale trying to hold a really high line here defensively. Mills with the in-swinger, Duggan. Oh, it's in for Port Melbourne. Against the odds. Jalil Ragagwe on debut. Would you believe it? Five men in the wall. Rory Bryan behind them. Looks like it's Anderson or Markowski to take it. To break the deadlock. And it's Markowski and it's in. 
against the breeze. A man down. Pepped up in the last few minutes. Sendings off. And now a goal. Finally a goal. And Hume City looking to strike back. And they have. Seconds after going behind, Mustafa has brought them back level. That happened out of nowhere. Still read a pounce on that one. Here's Ruthven. Looking for that raking switch of play. Hornick lets it run. Summerskill in behind. He plays it in for George Ox. Against the run of the play, perhaps, but the St. Albans Saints take the lead. And long may, long may that continue. This is a good combination by the Knights, but they lose the ball eventually. Across the face, and here's a chance for Frenich. And he finds the back of the net. Ivan Frenich, he doesn't want to celebrate against St. Albans. Brings these sides level at one all.